Hello Darts Nuts and welcome to Darts Review Channel. In this video I'm going to be reviewing the target ball eyed. Uh, the word ball eyed as far as I'm aware it refers to a, a bright meteor that explodes in the atmosphere. So you learn something every day from this channel. <laughs> and this is the SP04 model. There's five models in the range and the SP obviously stands for Swiss Point. So let's check them out. So as I said this is the SP04 version and it's 23 gram 90% tungsten you can also get it in 21 and 25 gram there is no soft tip version and it retails for a reasonable £34.95 So as you can see it comes in this slim cardboard packaging uh, quite a colourful pack it's got sand on there to represent the uh, sand blasting in the grooves inside you've got a form insert holding the darts already set up and they come supplied with the short pro grip stems and the specially made for the ball eyed range uh, ultra flights and obviously you get the swiss point tool and on your back there's a little pamphlet and it's got the weight guarantee 23 gram exactly So as you can see it's fitted with the Swiss point and at first glance it might look as if it's a standard straight barrel dart but I don't know if you can tell but there's a slight curve to the barrel so it's wider here and it gently curves thinner to the middle and then it flares out again and it's got a fairly smooth tapered nose and the grip is a mix of rings and grooves and if you look there's like a kind of very fine uh, groove in each ring and in between the grooves in the rings i should say in between the rings the grooves are got sandblasting on i'd probably say it's around about medium kind of a mild medium and obviously as it curves in the middle it feels fairly comfortable in your grip there so for middle grippers you might find it very comfortable but this ring grip is pretty much the full length apart from the two ends so there's grip there for all people but I would say middle grippers are going to find it quite comfortable uh, there's a slight variation in the thickness of the rings and the grooves but uh, still grip level feels pretty much the same all the way along and there's your short pro grip stems and the uh, ball eyed flights That's fit with the 26mm Swiss point, it's got a smooth taper to the nose and that's 5.1mm and then it comes into this section of ring grip with the grooves on the rings that's 8.5mm and then you've got a smooth ring grip of 10mm and then in the middle you've got a wide ring with fine grooves that's 2.6mm and then you've got the smooth rings of 9.7 millimeters and then the rings with the grooves on for 11.1 millimeters and then on the end you've got a smooth section of 4 millimeters length is 51 millimeters width is 6.8 millimeters Twenty three point zero three grams and twenty three point one grams, so a little bit of difference on that last one. And full setup is twenty four point four six grams. With nothing attached, the balance is just a little front of centre, and with the supplied setup, it moves very slightly behind the centre point. And this is the balance with medium in between short nylon stems and standard flights.
grip level is pretty much uniform throughout the barrel it's uh, kind of a low medium so I'd probably give it five overall Mm. There's a slightly strange feel to the balance, probably down to the shape. It is slightly chunky on the front where I'm holding it, but um, I can't really say I'm feeling any effect from that sandblasting because it's in the grooves. I'm just feeling a little bit of the edge of the rings. Um, so I think it's... Uh, I don't know maybe more for aesthetics than actually practically doing anything because yeah, it's just not touching the skin while it's in the grooves but whether it helps to absorb moisture or not I don't know my hands are a bit cold and very dry at the moment so not really warmed up properly but I'll try it from the middle obviously it gets thinner in the middle um, I have a feeling it's a dart that's going to suit middle grippers the best so it just feels quite comfortable in the fingers and it's very nicely balanced in the centre so maybe one that's going to be middle grippers only but who knows some front grippers and rear grippers might like it as well just feels a little bit spirally when I'm throwing it whether that's down to the the balance of it grip wise it's not very uh, grippy though so if you need a lot of grip it's probably not going to be enough for you but uh, nice and smooth through the air from the middle so try the rear section now so again it gets a little bit chunkier um, I think the front and the rear <laughs> it just slipped out my fingers that so my hands are pretty cold at the moment so it's a nippy dirt a dirt but um, the, the rings on the front and the rear have got little grooves in so they feel just a little tiny bit more grippy but not a lot in it really it's uh, not as flying as bad as I was expecting it to be from the rear so it could be one of them darts that you have to have a go to see whether the, the balance and the shape suits you but flying better from the rear than I was thinking it was going to be Let's check out the ratings. It's got quite a nice shape to the barrel and it's uh, fairly neat looking so 7. Grip overall is 5. Quite a mild medium. Weight match 2 across. The third was a little bit off so 8.5. Quality it's fine. It's nice and cleanly machined and nothing really wrong with it but it's fairly simple design so 8. And value it's reasonably priced considering it's got the swiss points and the sandblast and cotton as well in between the grooves so eight for value so there you go that's the target ball eyed 
23 gram uh, SP04. Um, probably not the best one for me, I think. Looking at the other models, I think it's the, is it the SP01 or 2? The one that has the wider gaps at the front. That one looks as if it will be more suitable for me as a, a front gripper. I would probably say this one is best for middle grippers, mainly down to the shape and the balance. But you never know, some front and rear grippers might like the feel of it. Just kind of felt a little bit strange when I was throwing it. But from the middle, it feels easy and it seemed to be flying smooth through the middle. But on the back, it was going a bit spirally and a little bit spirally on the front. So like I say, it could be just down to the way it's balanced. But like I said, I'm not really sure if the sandblasting is having any effect. It may be more effective on the other darts that I mentioned because the grooves are a bit wider on that. Um, but it's nice that they've kept the price fairly reasonable at £34.95, especially when it's got the Swiss points. And regarding the Swiss points, Target have definitely said that they've improved the strength of the points. So what I might do in another video is I might test these newer points with the fair set of points that I got and just to see if they are any stronger but that's the end of the review uh, stick around for the gallery uh, hope you've enjoyed watching the video and I'll see you on the next one happy darting